This film is brought to you by Pain Management. Work with an experienced yoga teacher specializing in pain management. Learn how to ease your pain with private yoga sessions customized to your specific needs. www.yogatraveler.online slash pain2. Hello, and welcome to three different ways, three different yoga poses that you can use to lengthen your hamstrings, stimulate and stretch your back, and open up your hips and stretch the hips. So three really tight areas in our body that could use some stimulation. These three yoga poses are great to do at the end of your day when you're trying to wind down, you've been moving all day, or even after some physical exercise, like some cardio or something, where your body's a little bit warm, so maybe not first thing in the morning. And these three different uh, back exercises will really give you some relief. So the only tool you need is a yoga strap or some kind of towel or something that you might be able to um, use to stretch with. So let's give it a go. We'll start with Janish Sasana A. So we're gonna begin by bending our right leg and extending the left leg. Make sure to bring it straight out from your hip. And if this leg doesn't all the way lay down, that's okay. Not a big deal. As we fold forward, you'll see that it will provide a little uh, depth there. So let's take the strap around your foot, always trying to keep our left leg as straight as we can. Sit tall here, inhale. Exhale, reach forward for that extended leg. And as you see, as I pull forward, this knee goes down just a little bit. That's because we've opened the space in the sacrum. Now you may not be able to reach your toe. That's what the strap is for. But if you can grab your toe, feel free to go deeper. You can go all the way down and then just let your head relax. Whatever depth you get to, Keep pulling in through the middle of your body to lengthen out the low back and continue to fold. You might first feel the stretch in the hamstring. Then it moves toward the hips, the low back and the hips, and then continuing up that spine. Pull your shoulders back to relax the space in your neck. Take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Gently lift up. Let's keep this strap here around this left leg. Take your right knee to the sky and leave a space between your feet and your leg. Sit tall, second movement of our back, curving, rounding the spine. Exhale, curve forward. Almost like someone's hit you in the stomach and you're curving your back, and letting your head drop down. This is Marichyasana A. And you can stay right here, grabbing onto the strap. This might feel really nice. Or you could go a little deeper if your body allows. Notice your right shoulder. If it's lower than your knee, wrap it around your knee. Then take your left arm behind, grab onto your fingers, and let your head just drop down. Either way, we're still pressing into the curve of our spine. This shifting in the shoulder, uh, I mean, in the hips, is really great for women, for our body genetics, the way our hips are structured, and a little bit of continued stretch into that hamstring. Take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Gently lift up. Let's unwind our arms or set the strap aside, whatever you're using and scoot your right leg right up against your left foot. Keep that flex in the foot. Extend your left arm, inhale, exhale, either hook it on with your elbow or hug. Take your right hand to the floor, sit nice and tall, pull in through the middle, and continue drawing back that right shoulder. This is our third movement, twisting of the spine really great movement through the entire back and by hugging the leg against us we might feel a little pull through the outer edge of our hip let's keep our gaze pointed to the back 
shoulder there, that right shoulder. And so we just continue that movement of the spine. Twists are so great for releasing back strain, really good for spinal alignment, and good for digestion as well. Take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Let's come forward. We'll release that leg and do everything on our left side. So inhale, pull the left leg up. Right leg is nice and straight. Exhale, let's place our strap. Sit tall again, inhale. Exhale, reach forward. Janusirsasana A, as far as you can go. You might notice differences between each side. It's really normal. You just do the best you can and you keep that slow and steady breath. Inhale, pull in through the middle. Exhale, lead yourself down over and over again. Calming, steadying, and lengthening. Let's take one more breath. We're doing about 10 breaths in each position. Lift up. That's good to allow the body time to open up. Bring your left knee to the sky. It's going to shift you to your right hip just a little bit. Take a breath. Inhale. Mary Chalsana A. Exhale. Fold forward. Round your spine. Let your head drop into that space. Now, if you held the strap last time, continue with that. If you tried the bind, try it again. This time, our left arm would wrap around our leg. And our right arm would come behind our back. And then we drop that head down and continue to feel that curve of the spine. This can be upper back with the bind of the shoulders and a lower back. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. You're doing great. Take that strap away. We won't need it anymore. Scoot your foot right up against your leg. Sit tall as you reach the right arm. Inhale. Exhale, hooking or hugging. Whatever you did last time. Other hand, left hand to the floor. Pull in deeper through the middle. Draw back that shoulder. Just feel that squeeze through the entire center of your body. Lots of motion into the spine. Three different ways to bend the back. Pull your gaze behind you to continue that rotation of your neck through the whole spine. And take one more breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, come forward, nicely done, exhale, release. And you've just completed three different ways to move the back, straight back or lengthened back, rounded back and curved. Hope that gives you some relief through your back, through your hips and your hamstrings.